if you're working with large areas of data there may be situations when you need smaller portion of the data for a more detailed analysis this is where Excel's new take function can help let us take a look at few examples and understand how it works I have this set of data having sales for each month along with return on investment let's take a look at take function and see how it works it asks for three arguments first one is array which is this data and the second one is the number of rows you want and third columns which is in square brackets that means it's an optional argument so for now I will skip rows as well I'll close the bracket and hit enter and it returns me the complete set of data now let's suppose if you want the first three rows only we will simply go back to formula and for rows we will mention three here and it will return us the first three rows likewise if we need the last three rows so we simply need to replace this with minus three and it will return us the bottom three rows now let's create a situation and suppose you need top three months having the highest sales which in this case is this this and this so over here first of all we will need to sort out this data and for that we will we will be using sort function the first argument is array and the second one is sort index which means column by which we want sorting to be done and in our case it is a sales column which is number two and then how we want the sorting to be done whether in the ascending order or the descending order so one for descending and minus one for descending and it will sort out data based on the highest number of sales now we will stick this inside the take function this will be our array and we want top three rows therefore I will mention three and it, it returns me the rows having the highest number of sales now let's move on and take a look at second example I have same set of data and now we want sales average for the first three months so I will again use take function in this case our array is only this and we want top three rows so it returns me the data for the first three rows now I will use average function and it will return me the average for the first three months so same way if you need it for the first six months so you can simply change this to six okay now let's move on and take a look at our final example so again I have same set of data and now we want months having the highest sale and the lowest sale which in this case is this and this and this time we will be using a function called sort by and what it does is that it sorts one column based on the value of another column so our first array is this which is what we want to be returned and this will sort 
on the basis of this and we want our values in descending order therefore I will be choosing minus 1 so it displays the number of months having the highest number of sales now I'll put this inside take function and in order to get the rows having the top sale and the lowest sale I'll be using curly bracket 1 for the highest value comma minus 1 for the lowest value I'll close the bracket and hit enter now this returns me July and October so July is having the highest number of sales and October is having lowest number of sales but we want this to be displayed in different rows therefore I will go back and replace comma with semicolon there you go this is a very useful function and I hope you enjoyed the video I'll come back soon with a new videos until then it's goodbye